Later on, I'll probably give better explanation to the poems because I'm going to reread them. This is just an environment to do it. But, um, it just feels good. <laughs> the next poem is Finally, It's Complete. It's about life, about living, most of all about love. About the past, about the future, about the Lord up above. About sex, about drugs, about rock and roll, about expansion of potential to reach one's goal. About regret, about embrace, about the healthy, the sick, about lewd, corrupt behavior that unfortunately exists. About the forest and the trees, about the birds and the bees, about Adam and Eve, and yes, Adam and Steve. About lust, about greed, about unwanted seeds, about apology after apology, about want over need. About in God we trust, handicapped sign on the bus. About the rich, I mean the powerless, and the rest of us. About beer, about fear, about heroin and cocaine. About one God, how many religions? This world is insane. About kids having kids, about music videos. About actors, about athletes, about legal hoes. About bridging the gap, about silver, copper, and green. About black, about white, and the red in between. About memories of the past, about what fades, what lasts. About technological enhancements, we're moving way too fast. About in, about out, about up and down. About smiles on faces turned upside down. About me, myself, and I, about the tears I cry. Not about if or when, but how I eventually die. It's simply reaching in the abyss and all it entails. This book is about living life, mind completely unveiled. And that's that. Oh, the book it refers to is called An American Under Attack. It's a, it's a book I've been working on for quite a long time. Not in its original name, mind you. The first book was called Life, Living, and Love. And so that's why at the end of this poem it said about reaching in the abyss. Um, and it said about, um, this book is about living life, my community and Bell. That's what it said. What's up there, big dog? How you doing? This is Harold. I'm doing good. This is Harold. He's the one that does, oh, uh, he doesn't like, he doesn't like cameras. Get back. I was just telling them I have this, um, I hear the music in the background so I can do my, I can do the stuff that I do poetry Yeah. Give me three. You were doing that, give me three steps. That's a standard. Oh no, that was good. Yeah, that's standard. And, and it was going, it, it was going along um, with the poems I was reading. And since, you know, I was like, cool. I'm gonna sit up here read. And they can hear me, but they can hear the band in the back. So that's all good. <laughs> it makes it more real. You know, if you're gonna make a segment called Real Talk, you want real talk on it. You know, so I'm just <laughs> chilling. <chill it. laughs> oh boy. Uh oh, that's Chris. Put more and more paper on there, cause that paper man stuff. What? He's an individual coming out that was that was in there doing.